Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to learn how can we load custom CCs or custom word list type, how can we create custom word list types in Celebrate Pro. So let's get it started without wasting any time. Okay. So what I want to do is I have a uh, CC, let's see like this and I want to load it in my Celebrate. Now if you have tried it loading uh, anything which is not there in uh, Celebrate, it will throw error. Okay, like this form it will throw error while uh, when you are testing the configs so let's see how can we do it actually it's very really easy what you have to do is go to your silver bullet folder okay and here go to settings folder uh, this one and then here you have to open environment.ini file in any text editor you can open it in notepad vs code notepad plus plus or anything that you have so here if you click on open it will open it in notepad okay i have bunch of uh, code editors uh, and notepad also i'll be using visual studio code so it will be little clearer you can use anything doesn't matter so after loading this what you have to do uh, let's just uh, copy the first thing okay uh, let me just copy this and just scroll to the last and paste it here so what you have to do, you have to change few things, like you have to uh, change the name for what word list type you want to create, you have to give it a name. Let's say I want to uh, create a CC uh, word list, okay, so you can just get, give it the name CC or credit card or anything. Uh, verify, you just put it true, I will tell you why. Separator, uh, see the card I have is in this format, basically uh, the card number separated by this pipe sign then month pipe sign year then pipe sign then cvv okay so what i want to do is i want to separate it using uh pipe sign okay and then you have to use the slices you can give it any name uh there are four parts okay so what we can do you can give uh again the card month again this is optional you can give it any name this is variable name just remember okay year and then cvv see it's uh vs code is suggesting more things if you want to add more things you can also add uh same in the regex and it will start doing the same thing okay so uh, you can uh, add uh, anything that you want doesn't matter for now we will only use the these four things now what uh, we need is we need a regex. Regex stand for regular expression. So basically, what uh, regular expression is a piece of code using which we can match strings content in a string or data in a string. Okay. Now if you are not good with regex, what you can do, you can just go to ChatGPT or any tool. Uh, I'll be using DeepSeek. Okay. And ask it to uh, write a regex for credit card or whatever type of word list you want to create. So I have already did it like this write a regex for credit card detail formats okay uh, the format is card number separated by sign as uh, pipe symbol month pipe symbol year pipe symbol cvv okay so after that it will start giving you the regex example this is the regex pattern here this is uh, slash d means number okay uh, followed by 13 comma 19 it means there will be the 13 or 19 digits for first then separated by uh, two one or two digits okay uh, and then separated by four digits and then separated by three four digits okay uh, this last part is cvv it uh, here you, it, you can read this means as well 3019 means card number can be from 13 to 90 digits depending upon the is card issuer then pipe symbol then d, d1 two means one or two digits month can be uh, like uh, month can be one or 12 or 11 or 10 anything like this okay then pipe symbol then D is here four digits only. Uh, so this uh, little, uh, if you have card, uh, seen cards, uh, it can come in this format like 28 only or 2028. So we have to modify the regex a little, doesn't matter. Then pipe symbol, then 3,4 means CVV. Uh, since here MX has four and others have three digits CVV, that is okay. Then you can read the further explanation like this and everything like this again i have pressed like here e year can be either 25 or 2025 so it will just update the regex for you it will just make it 2 comma 4 so 
after doing it, you have to just uh, update your uh, or paste your uh, this regex. So let's just copy it and paste it here. And you are done. Okay. Verify true. Uh, we have made it true because we want to verify whether the data that you have is in the same format or not. Okay. Uh, let's say you can, uh, someone can paste incorrect data and it will consider it as card number. So we have just made the verify true. It will first verify, then only load it. Okay. So, yes, this is it. Uh, now, the next thing that you have to do is you have to open Silver Bullet. Once you have did it, just open your Silver Bullet. Let's wait. And here it is. Uh, I'll go to configs. I'll create a new config. I'll just type with or uh, give it a new CC, let's say. Let's maximize it. And here, let's just paste the card data or card details. And uh, where it is? Here. Let's just paste it. Here, you could select uh, the world list type. Okay, so uh, if you see, we have given the name CC, and here we have, in the end, we have first CC. If you put any, select any other, uh, you will get error. Okay, so you could select CC here. Now, after doing this, you can uh, just uh, this first part will be known as card, second is month, then third is year, then last part will be year. Uh, sorry, CVV. So if I just go to uh, functions and constants and print it, the value of let's say CVV, it should print triple zero. See, triple zero. Okay. So now you can just put it in your config uh, request. So yes, this is working, okay. So I hope you got a basic understanding. Uh, it's not only for CC, you can just create any kind of word list. All you have to do is just go to environment.eni, copy paste this thing and paste it here. Uh, change the regex, change the slices, change the separate uh, as per your need, okay. So that's it. So this is it for this video, guys. We'll be using this uh, in upcoming tutorials to verify whether the card is correct or not okay whether it is working card or invalid card so yes that's it let's meet in the next